Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about the social media app Kara and give some of my honest thoughts and reviews on it. So let's get started. And as I discuss this topic, I am going to show a process video from Procreate from one of my most recent paintings. And so you will see that on the screen. So it was close to two months ago that Meta announced their general collection and use of photos that are posted publicly on their platforms. These platforms include Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. And what that means for everybody, not just artists, is that currently, if you post any kind of image, whether it's an image of your dog, a picture of your daughter, a picture of yourself, or a picture of art that you have created, Meta has basically deemed that their property. And they have said in their terms of service that they are doing a mass collection and use of those images to train their generative AI. Right now, I'm not entirely sure what their generative AI is for. I'm going to assume it has a lot to do with advertising. But it does mean that you could definitely start to see AI generated images that seem very, very familiar. They look a lot like pictures maybe you have shared. And that is a huge privacy concern. In my personal opinion, it is a huge violation of the trust of their users on their platforms. And I'm definitely not alone in feeling that. There was a pretty big outcry when it came to light that they were doing this. And for artists, it means that the images that we create, which by rights are our property, they kind of aren't if we post them publicly. Which, if you are an artist online and you use social media for growing your platform, gaining commissions, even as your online portfolio, you post your images publicly. Because how else is the public at large supposed to discover you? And that is very concerning because it's right on the heels of artists already feeling very uh, taken advantage of by AI in general. Scraping all of the images that we have created, mashing them together, and sort of regurgitating out grotesque <laughs> amalgamations of them. And the outcry, like I said, was very large, and I believe it was justified. And there was an alternative that was suggested, and that is called Kara. Kara is not necessarily a new platform, but it did get a lot of attention when this whole uh, debacle started. And that is because it is a platform specifically for artists, made by artists, and they have a stance right now against AI. And that means against AI images being on their platform, which is such a relief, and also against allowing AI to use images that are posted on their platform. They automatically glaze images that are added to the platform. So of course, everybody was saying like, Kara is the new Instagram killer. Let's all go to Kara. Kara is our savior. <laughs> and the uh, platform was flooded with new subscribers, new accounts. Uh, last count I saw, they had 600,000 new uh, accounts created or new subscribers within like a month after Mina made that announcement. And of course, that came with a lot of drawbacks. Uh, people who were starting on the platform did notice that there were some buggy issues, it was crashing, it was lagging, things like that, which I think could be expected considering they were definitely blindsided by this as much as anybody else, and they were not prepared for overnight massive growth. So all of that is understandable. And I myself joined Kara, not necessarily because I believed that it was going to be the Instagram killer that everybody was saying, and not necessarily in an attempt to quit Instagram or quit other social media platforms uh, and solely put all of my eggs in the Kara basket. And I think that not just going all in on Kara is, was a good move. And here's why. One thing that I know for sure that Meta was counting on when it comes to the uh, announcement that they made, and they didn't even really make an announcement, they just updated their terms of service kind of hoping that nobody would notice um, about this whole collection of images and training their AI. One thing I know that they were counting on is the rather predictable human behavior of quickly dying out outrage. So there was an explosion of outrage over the information around the time that the information became public. But here it is, like I said, less than two months later, and it feels like a lot of people have forgotten about it. This practice by them is in full effect now. I believe it its effective date was June 26th, 2024. And so we are well into them doing this 
uh, collection, mass collection of public images. And it, like I said, it feels like a lot of people have definitely forgotten. Uh, life on Instagram has continued. Uh, life on Facebook seems like it has continued. I have no idea if the platforms or Meta itself lost very much in terms of users or revenue or stock price or anything like that. And this has happened throughout human history all the time, you know? And there's a big shock, everyone has a big outcry, but in order for massive change to take place, it requires a sustained amount of effort from a large amount of people, and that rarely ever happens, especially on the internet. Things move so quickly, things change so quickly, that getting any kind of like massive migration or massive like change to actually take and stick is going to be difficult. And that definitely seems to be the case with Kara, it definitely seems to be the, the case with Meta. I don't see, you know, Meta sinking or going down anytime soon. Um, I myself, as I said, mentioned I have a Kara and the platform is not perfect. One of the biggest issues that I seem to have with Kara is that it is niche. It is very specifically for artists by artists, which I think kind of puts it in the category of being an online portfolio for artists rather than an actual thriving community or social media platform where artists can connect with potential clients, uh, commissions, fans, things like that. So it's kind of in its own bubble and there has definitely been a very low rate of engagement on the platform, at least from my stance. And that kind of makes it feel like a little bit of a void <laughs> that you're, you're going into. So I definitely feel for any of the people who put all of their eggs in the Kara basket and like canceled or deleted their other social media profiles. I hope that uh, their struggle does pay off and eventually Kara takes off or they're able to find other ways to promote themselves or to grow their communities. And that is the one thing that I think is really important to take away from this experience, from this video, from just knowing that Meta is going to continue to do some fuck shit and uh, most social media platforms are going to allow AI, not only the posting of AI images, but the use of your images to generate AI, that's going to continue. And from where it stands right now, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. So I think that it is important for artists or really anybody who is trying to grow their uh, social media presence, trying to grow their community, to have multiple streams for doing so. Multiple channels, multiple avenues, and that would include things like having a YouTube channel, having uh, two or three different social media platforms, even if you there's a couple of them that you don't post on very often, and also creating your own website and or joining something like Patreon or one of the other platforms that has been created specifically for you to cultivate a smaller but more engaged uh, group or community. I think that taking charge of our traffic and taking charge of the communities that we're trying to build around whatever it is that we're creating is more important now than ever because a lot of artists are feeling like we're just at the mercy of these big corporations that do not care about us. They have shown many, many, many times that they really just don't care very much about um, artists and even about their users in general because they have this view of users as numbers and numbers as money. And so most of the decisions that they're going to make are gonna be based around how can I convert these numbers into more dollars? It's not going to be about how can I foster a sense of community? How can I encourage communication or anything like that? Social media, weirdly enough, is not really about being social anymore, especially for the companies that run these platforms. And I'm really hoping that Kara takes off a little bit more. I continue to post there. Um, I, I myself am part of the problem because I will say that I'm not super active. Um, I do try to log on once a day and kind of like or comment on a few different things that get posted on my feed, but it is difficult to do when the feed is relatively bare because <laughs> the platform seems to be a little bit of a vacuum or a void right now. I hope that it takes off. Right now, I know for a fact it's not the Instagram killer. I don't know if it's ever going to be the Instagram killer at this point. I don't know if anything is going to be the Instagram killer, but I encourage you, no matter what kind of art you are posting, even if it's something like pottery or woodworking or whatever, um, make sure that you are protecting yourself. Uh, if you have to post your images publicly or you feel like you want to post your images publicly, please make sure you watermark them and or either use glaze or nightshade to help protect your images from being stolen and used by AI. And I also encourage you to try and think of other ways that you might be able to build up 
a community around your work rather than trying to dive into the ocean of art community in general online so that you are diversifying how people are finding you and you also are diversifying your dependence i suppose on these online platforms so that if one does decide to just implode or if one you're just not liking and you want to abandon it you have a safety net to go to because the last thing that i want any artist to have to face is to be on a platform to have hundreds of thousands or maybe millions of followers on that platform and have it be like they're everything for their business and then overnight have it shoot itself in the foot and then your business is non-existent there are several rather large artists that i follow on instagram who have actually talked about their um income their revenue being almost exclusively from instagram by getting commissions and client work and things like that from instagram and then almost overnight their revenue went down like 90 percent because instagram for whatever reason throttled the exposure of their work uh, doesn't show their posts to even their current followers let alone new people and now they are in a panic <laughs> struggling trying to recoup those losses and, and figuring out how they can pay their bills in other ways so definitely don't let this happen to you please uh, look into other ways of creating a following or creating a community and if you are using online platforms for generating income through your art please make sure you have multiple ways that you are doing that and start trying to be more in charge of your online presence and that's all for this video thank you for watching if you have any comments or questions about this topic or really any other topic please leave them down below and i'll see you in the next one thank you